Hi, I'm Sean, and this is my short film, Sunday. Hope you enjoy it. Do you remember Mickey? From studio? Oh, yeah. Yes, from studio. Okay, so apparently he gave Jenny chlamydia. Again? again. Uh, what do you mean again? <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, so she went, like, fucking off on him. Like, apparently she threw a screwdriver at him, and it hit him, like, in the throat. But uh, his defense, apparently, was, no, baby, I think my dick just naturally produces chlamydia. Oh, my god. Is that what? possible? I assume now they're back together. Oh, they're, they're happier than yeah. they've ever That's been. Insane. <laughs> it's completely true. Should we go? Yeah, let me just go wash my hands. What time is she gonna head out? I'll run four. Uh, yeah. Have you guys um, talked about uh, what you're gonna do? You ready? Yeah. Which way are you? Uh, give me a second if my map's going to space. And it's coming right back. Actually, do you guys want to get ice cream? Uh, I could do ice cream. It's pretty cold. That's no, fine. Yeah, it sounds good. Yes. We can just check it out. It's right there. Why don't we just go in? Can we just get the ice cream? Please. Uh, my opinion, not that it matters too much in the grand scheme of things, but it would be whatever you want to do. If you want to go home, that sounds good to me. If you want to go get ice cream or... Okay, so let's get ice cream first, and then we'll go home. Everybody wins that way. Charlotte. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. One out of seven white girls is going to be named Charlotte. Okay, but isn't, like, Becky or something more common? No, Becky is basic. Charlotte is more sophisticated, right? She likes tea on a Sunday on her front porch, and her favorite music is the boozy. <laughs> the the boozy. That's a real question? Remember the Godzilla King of the Monsters trailer? Debussy. It is not pronounced Debussy. Debussy. It's the boozy, Charlotte. Okay, this is borderline harassment. You it's have to fine. stop. These are the last white girls you're going to see for a while, so I appreciate that. That's so them. sad. Are you going to be back for Christmas? Um, I don't know. Oh, you know what I think they should do? Hmm. What if everyone who wanted a visa had to compete like a battle royale? <laughs> and if you live, you get a visa. And if you don't, then you die. OK, yeah. Except I think if I did that, I would most definitely die. No, you would absolutely die. You really don't have any yeah, discernible skills. Yeah, no, 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 sure. Charlotte, she smiled at me. Sorry. Can I go talk to you? I keep walking, keep walking. That shit works.
All right, there you have it. We just watched the short film Sunday. Uh, I'm here with the writer and director of the film, Sean Wang. Uh, first off, Sean, thank you so much for letting us showcase this on our channel and share with our audience. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, I just want to say I love the film. Very moving, and I feel like you have such a strong voice. To start off, I wanted to ask, like, you know, how did this project just come together in general? So the story and the project kind of came together through sort of three separate thoughts that I had, which I've always really wanted to make like a relationship story, kind of like the stuff Wong Fu does and like the Before Sunrise, you know, movies and, and movies like her and Lost in Translation and Blue Jay, Blue Valentine, like those are all movies that I love and I think are sort of deceptively simple. Um, and I think relationship stories more than anything are sort of so overdone. And I just wasn't really sure how I could do something that felt personal and unique. For this story specifically, um, I had a lot of friends from school who were international students. Um, and then a lot of friends that I met in New York were also international students. And so it was an experience that I had sort of um, seen up close and from afar through a lot of my friends who had been through this experience. And it kind of occurred to me that, oh, that would be an interesting framework for a relationship story, which was something I had wanted to do for a while. And so I had reached out to a few of my friends like who had been through the experience to see if they would be open to sharing, uh, so, you know, sort of how they felt going through it, what their experience was like, um, and telling them like, oh, it's maybe like a film that I, I would maybe want to make. And they were so open and so generous to sharing their experiences. And just personally, after talking to them, like the more I talked with them and the more that they were kind of sharing their experiences with me, it made me not want to make the idea because oh, really? it, it was something that was, you know, personal to yeah. them and it was, you know, it is a painful experience. And so uh, after like talking with them about it, I was like, Oh, maybe it's like not my story to tell. And so I just kind of didn't touch the project anymore. I kind of shelved it. And then maybe like a year and a half later about that time. Um, and like the in-between period um, I had, you know, sort of, started seeing somebody and had sort of had that experience for myself. And, and after the experience was over and I had sort of processed it, it kind of occurred to me that like, I was like, oh, that was very similar to that project that was just a project. And so I just sort of like took it back out and was like, oh, I wonder if there's something here that I could um, look at it with fresh eyes and wonder if I can make this and actually see if there's something personal I can infuse to it without it being like an autobiographical story. It's very much still fiction. Yeah. But I think having lived through the experience, it gave me a different lens on what the story was and it, it became very personal and it feels like something I have the authority and the confidence to make. No, for sure. And I feel like yeah. that choice to make it personal and find the time to, to find that way in that related to you individually was like really smart. You're also not like being heavy handed or being very direct and making this about necessarily this visa situation. But then once you kind of set that up, I feel like the feelings and just like just the, those little vignettes kind of carry the short. And there's so much weight into those scenes. And I think that's because, and I could feel that, that it felt really personal too. Um, so you did a great Thank job you. translating that. I guess that kind of segues me to another question I had. I was just like curious about your casting process. Like I texted him and then within a few weeks we were shooting. That's so, so it was cool. like really, really fast. How much your Asian identity plays a part in you choosing what projects you want to work on? That's a really good question. <laughs> Hi, this short is one of three films that are part of our Wong Fu Presents series. You can check out the other two films through the links below. Wong Fu Presents has been our way to uplift other artists in the community and spotlight stories we feel need to be shared. We are so grateful that we have a platform to be able to do this and we hope to do it more routinely. If you'd like a chance to be part of Wong Fu Presents, we are actively taking submissions. Follow the link in the description to learn how. Thank you for watching and see you next time.